Hi everybody, this is Thomas King. Um, and in this particular lecture, I would like to show you how to create a chess diary, as can be seen here, um, using the word processor LibreOffice Writer. Now, of course, I'm not going to suggest, uh, explain how to do this using Microsoft Word because I want to make as much of the TNK64 chess course to be free. Um, and Microsoft Word is a it's an horrendously expensive program. Nonetheless, I will put a link in the description regarding how to create a checklist in Microsoft Word. So, the first thing we need to do in our blank document, which we have here, is create a title. Now, of course, everyone has their own preferences here. I like to have it in Arial, size 18, and bold. And we're just going to call it uh, Chess Diary. As you can see there, this is just going to put in the week. Let's do this in font 16. Um, so in this case, it's week one. So very basic stuff. Um, now after that, I'm going to switch to font 12. Go to Calibri because this is the main font, or at least I perceive it as the main font um, that people tend to use. Either the Times New Roman, I suppose. Anyway, um, so now we're going to use make it underlined. I'm just going to write down all the days of the week. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, no, not Sat. I recommend calling it Saturday and not Sat. I'm just going to write them down. Okay, this is going to just add some paragraphs in between every. Uh, between every day, um, and now we're going to introduce uh, a bullet list. So we'll add some bullets. Um, right click on the bullets, um, and we go to numbering slash bullets. Click on this ellipses here, and we go to geometric shapes. Geometric shapes. Click the box. If you want an open box. Um, at the moment, I'm just going to press H, so we can get some boxes there, which we're going to use later. I'm, I'm going to spend most of the time not focusing on formatting, but on what should be in your chest diary. Okay, so now it's going to follow the same process, you know, with this uh, numbering slash bullets, ellipses, geometric shapes. Go down a bit. Um, click on the square, H, enter, H, enter, H, enter. Um, but if you want to speed this up a bit, I recommend just going control V. So we're just going to add in all these bullets, and when you're done, it should look something like this. Pardon me. It should look something like this. Okay. So now we're just going to remove all the H's because we didn't really want the H's. Um, that was there so that when we pressed enter again, um, then we wouldn't have the bullet deleted. Anyway, so now we have uh, four bullet points for each day. Now we need to write in what to do each day. Um, and there are four things that I'm going to recommend. Um, so first you need to figure out what days you're playing in a tournament. And in my case, this is Friday. No, this is Friday and Saturday, rather. So on Friday nights, I play in the uh, I play in the Box Hill Club Championships. So Box Hill Chess Club Championships, one game. Just going to write that down. Um, and on Saturdays, pardon me. And Saturdays, I play at my uh, local chess club, the Melbourne Chess Club. Um, so I'm just going to put in play at Allegro. It's a seven round by fifteen minute tournament, so not an not a seventy five plus thirty as at uh, the Box Hill Club Championships. Um, and so these are going to act as our studying tools. 
Um, and then on your first non-tournament day, uh, then we're going to analyze them. So I recommend analyzing the long games, maybe not so much the short games. So yeah, uh, I'll just put down here: analyze games from analyze game from BHCC Championship. Simple as that. Um, so yeah, now we're going to add the daily activities. And there are three basic daily activities that every chess player should have. Or at least uh, that every person taking the TNK64 chess course does have. Um, the first is to do a certain amount of problems on chess tempo every day. Um, for example, I like to play... Uh, I'll do 15 blitz problems on chess tempo every day. So I'm just going to go copy and so every weekday we're going to do 15 blitz problems on chesstempo.com now on the weekends I like to do 15 standard problems on chesstempo.com and it's important that for tactical improvement that you focus on both of these things and not just uh, standard or not just on blitz um, it's important that uh, you try to improve your um, ta calculating ability um, over the weekends when you have more time to do so, and then you expand upon that over the weekend. The next thing is we need to make a move in, a co in our correspondence game every day. And for this I recommend uh, using the site redhotporn.com. Um, unfortunately titled as it may be, it is an excellent site for correspondence chess. So yeah, I'm just going to put in make a move in correspondence game. I'm going to go control C, uh, control V, and add this to every day. Because this is an excellent way of consolidating um, our long chess. Because effectively it's the same thing. Um, if you take it that way, you know. Of course, if you want, you can use databases, engines. Um, you can have help from other opponents. You know, they're not going to catch you, and frankly, they tend not to care because they just can't catch you. Um, you know. So technically, it's not allowed, but uh, in popular culture, it is. Um, and anyway, uh, if if you play it the same as you would in a 90 plus 30 or 75 plus 30 um, game then it can be used as a good tool for improvement. Third is, uh, and this is something that's quite uncommon, I'm going to recommend that you play a few blitz games every day. So three blitz games on fix. Um, and I recommend using the time control 3 plus 2 as opposed to 5 plus 0 um, because this time control is a much more it's one where the moves take a preference over the um, over the ability to flag your opponent but I don't recommend playing uh, blitz games on days where you're playing in a tournament so in my case not on Friday and not on Saturday um, so yeah uh, and then there are exercises that I recommend uh, you do. Um, and uh, con the concentric square is the one you should start off with. So on Monday, uh, and I'll explain this in a later video. Uh, this is part of this will be part of the TNK64 uh, sharpen your arsenal lesson, which covers tactics. So we'll just say um, do. Uh, concentric squares mini drill. Um, and then we're just going to go control C, control V, and we're going to do this one every day. Okay. If it glitches like that, then we'll just. Okay, we'll focus on. We'll fix this presentation later. And we're going to do this every day because um, it's a good way of consolidating our tactics which are also improving on chesstempo.com. So now we've got the um, 
Now I've got the raw uh, information for what we're going to be studying. Um, excuse me while I just uh, fix the... There we go. Now I've got the raw information that we're going to be uh, studying. Uh, we will also add a little heading there, put it in Arial. I uh, know. Size 18, bold. Uh, ratings. No, oh, not underlined. Ratings. Uh, woo. Um, and here we're just going to put our ratings on, at uh, redhotporn.com. Uh, our rating at fix. Uh, blitz, of course, because that's what we're playing. Um, hmm, maybe I'll just change it to font size 11 for the sake of this video. Um, the porn.com rating, uh, fix rating, uh, chesttempo.com standard rating, and uh, chesttempo.com uh, blitz rating. So there you have it. Um, now you have. Oh, um, and also on Sunday, I recommend adding a update mil update million database 1.74 with Twic. This way, it's hard to forget, um, and it's not tedious. So having the fifth one doesn't really matter, um, especially considering we're not doing this uh, concentric square mini drill. Um, instead, we're just doing this. Anyway, um, so there we have it. Uh, that's how you make a chest diary. Uh, this is great for tracking your improvement. Um, it really is a fantastic tool. Um, I'll explain the process of the concentric square mini drill later on. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, there will be a link in the description um, explaining how this can be done in Word. But now that you've got your diary off here, you can just go control P well um, because LibreOffice Writer is incredibly laggy, at least on my computer. Um, then you can just print it off and uh, just tick everything off as you do it. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. And until next time, until then, uh, see you next time.